Staff Sergeant Nelson. They should have home getting as much daylight as they can. We'd like to thank GE Aviation Mac again this year as a sponsor of our air show. GE, the world's leading supplier of aircraft engines that provides many other components and systems on a wide range of civil and military aircraft. This is really cool. GM employs over. Get this in your eyes and your cameras as they bring you get ready for school handing. stretched across the deck of the aircraft carrier. Now the thing that happens, whether they catch the wire or not, in case there's a miss, the, the pilot shoves the throttles forward to full military power. In case there's a skip or a bolter, they'll have enough power to go around and do it again. We don't call these landings, we call them a controlled crash. And that comes from the pilots that fly them. That's the technique they are taught to you. This is a heartbeater, isn't it? Yes, it is. In fact, uh, we're told by a guy that has uh, a lot of carrier landings, a lot of F-14 time under hostile conditions, Dale Smart Snodgrass. He said in studies, when you wire up a fighter pilot with all the stuff that records his emotion,
You have seen it and you heard it. Give our dolls a big round of applause. An extraordinary individual who is still going strong.
2019 Thunderbirds and the inspirational Delta Burst. Ladies and gentlemen, as the roar of our F-16 engines fades away, it marks the completion of today's demonstration. And 17 of 54 scheduled for this year. We are pleased to have flown for you today and to showcase the quality in action and pride in performance that has been the foundation of the U.S. Air Force for over 70 years. Ladies and gentlemen, you may notice one of our Thunderbird aircraft is waiting on the airfield. That's Thunderbird 8, and in his backseat is Technical Sergeant Bryson Schuster. Both are advancing to our next show site in Michigan. Hope to see you there. <laughs>